got my computer. I'll play the piano. Is everything all right in here? Yes, Nanny. Bunsen's about to demonstrate his latest invention. What is it anyway? I know. It's a six-passenger spaghetti-powered tennis shoe grinder, right? No. I invented that last week. Right, Beaker? <laughs> this is my do-it-yourself 3D TV show machine. Hop in and I'll show you how it works. Glasses on. Oh, wow. <laughs> 3D TV ready. Blast off, animal! Okay, blast! <laughs> wow, it really does look 3D. Hey, we're getting awful close to the side, Bunsen. Wow! I think your invention's busted, Bunsen. This doesn't look 3D to me. Wow! 3D, 3D. <laughs> this room, and next time be more careful. Okay, okay Nanny. Nice going, Gonzo. You almost got us in big trouble. Yeah, you're just lucky no one got hurt. Right, Ralph? <laughs> Ralph? Hey, something's the matter with Ralph. He doesn't look very well. What is it, Ralph? <laughs> oh, I get it. You lost your tonsils, and you want us to go to the pet shop and buy a new pair. Fuzzy? Sorry. I got it. You lost your piano. And you want us to take a look and see if it's in your tummy. Let me take a look. Um, I see a couple of organs, but there aren't any pianos. Oh, I got it, I got it. You lost your voice. Is that true, Ruth? Gee, he must have lost his voice when we crashed. Ah, oh, gee, it's all my fault. I must have knocked it out of his throat when I crashed Bunsen's 3D TV. Oh, it's not your fault, Gonzo. Yeah, he lost it from all that yelling and shouting. Well, if it's lost, there's only one thing to do. What? what? We've got to go find it. Oh, boy. Anybody know what a voice looks like? Maybe if we look at one of our own voices, we'll know what to look for. Good idea, Piggy. Animal, let me see your voice. Say, ah. Uh... Ah! Gee, I never knew a voice could look like a truck. Did you? Gee, Kermit, that didn't work. Oh, dear. How will we ever find 
kind, loud voice. Leave it to me, my precious pink piglet. I, Sherlock Gonzo, am the greatest detective in the world. Hmm. Okay, Ralph, tell me, where did you last see your voice? Speak up, I can't hear ya. Hmm. Aha! I've solved the case. The cat's got his tongue. It's an open and shut case. Oh, poor Rolfie Wolfie. He can't talk to us anymore, so maybe we'd better talk to him. Uh, what will we say to him? I know. Let's tell him a story go round. A uh, what? It's simple. One of us starts to tell a story, then after three minutes, the next person continues where the first person left off. That sounds like fun. I'll get the egg timer. Aha! I found Ralph's voice. Whoa! Wrong voice! Here's the egg timer. You start, Kermie. Um, do I have to? Yes! Three minutes, huh? Well, okay, here goes. Um, once upon a time, uh, there was this place. Gee, not much of a place, is it? Is my time up yet? You still have two minutes and 48 seconds. Oh, that much, huh? Hmm. I, I wonder what makes a good story. I, I guess I need a hero like, uh, Indiana Frog. Now I need a dramatic setting. Let's see now. Hmm. How about a jungle with wild animals? Oh, and mean-looking natives. <laughs> Gosh, making up stories is easier than I thought. Now all I need is a title. Hmm. That's it. I'll call it Raiders of the Lost Bark. And so, Indiana Frog came upon a tower of ancient ruins. Um, that's not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> that's better. Gosh, that's a scary bark. Would you guys mind if I change the title to Raiders of the Lost Meow? Keep going. Kermit, it's just starting to get interesting. Oh, okay. Um, and so Indiana Frog climbed and climbed and climbed to the top of the ancient temple. <laughs> Things are going to get exciting now. I can tell by the music. Oh. Hey, not bad for a little baby frog. As the heroic green frog made his way through the creepy passageway. Phew, that was close. One more step and I'd have been an Indiana frog burger. Hold the onions. Hey, I think I found the lost bark. Sherlock Gonzo of Scotland Yard, you're under arrest for stealing Ralph's bark. Me? But I didn't take it. Oh, yeah? I caught you red-handed. Gonzo, that's ketchup. 
That's what they all say. Knock it off, Gonzo. You're ruining my story. Trap. And then the soft green trap. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, there should be just one more trap left. <laughs> I knew it. The greasy French fry trap. So, as Indiana Frog found himself trapped in the french fries without any salt. Oh no! A giant! Hey, he must have the last bark! And if I'm not careful, he's gonna have the last croak, too! Yummy! And then, if all was lost, and Indiana Frog was about to become junk food, no fair! I'm not finished yet! You're not supposed to finish, Kermit. That's the way the game goes. Okay, Piggy, you're on. Now you just sit back and relax, Ralph, while I continue where Kermit left off. <clears throat> where were we? Oh, yes. As Indiana Frog was about to become junk food. Huh? Sleeping Beauty danced gracefully across the stage. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how you're supposed to do it, Piggy. <laughs> it's my story now, Indiana Frog, and I'll tell it however I want. That's better. Ta-da! Thank you, thank you. In times past, there lived a king and queen. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> the king and queen were talking one day. Whoops! That we had a child. What does that mean, Skeeter? It's poetry talk for we want to have a baby, silly. We do? And so it happened that Sleeping Beauty was born. I am the lovely, sweet, kind, and modest Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Twinkle toes! <laughs> No, me no! <laughs> oh, what a beautiful spinning wheel! What are you spinning? Cat's cradle! <laughs> Hark! A spinning spindle! I wonder what would happen if I touched it. Ow! No sooner had Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger than an evil spell fell over her and she fell asleep for a hundred years. Fortunately, there was one thing that could wake Sleeping Beauty. A kiss from her handsome prince. Hark! The, um, the, um, do I have to say it? Yes! <laughs> Okay. Hark! The lovely, sweet, kind, snoring... I mean, a sleeping beauty. And so, the handsome prince leaned over... 
over Sleeping Beauty, puckered up and... Phew! Saved by the bell. What? Yeah! It's not my fault. Your time was up. Honest. <laughs> How's the voice doing, Ralph? Hmm. Not so spectacular, hmm? Hey, it's your turn, Scooter. I'm starting a timer. <coughs> Where did we leave off? Oh, yeah. Just as the handsome prince was about to kiss Sleeping Beauty, a computer salesman entered. What? A, a computer, computer salesman? salesman? Oh, well, okay. Uh, how about a vacuum cleaner salesman? Castles get dusty, you know. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh! Yay! Hey! Oh, it's no use. I don't know how to tell a story. You're doing great, Scooter. I am? Sure. These musical instruments are a great idea. They are? Of course. Every good story needs a song. <laughs> yes, Scooter, sing a song. Hey, that's right. Okay, uh, here goes. Well, he's got floppy ears and a cold, wet nose. He plays piano with his toes. And we all love the way he sings. So come on, Ralph, and do your thing. Show us the real you. He's crying, too. We love the real you. That's not you. I'm so glad he's a friend of mine. Friend of mine, friend of mine. Cause he keeps me smiling all the time. All the time. We even know him in the dark when we hear that familiar bark. Show us the real you. He's trying to. We love the real you. But that's not you. We want to hear that special sound. Oh, 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 oh. That lets us know that you're around. Oh, 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 oh. Any other sound just lets us know. For it, Skeeter. Okay, I'll start right where Scooter left off. Just as the song had ended and everyone was feeling good, uh, a police motorcycle drove up. Who are you? I'm TJ Skeeter, police girl, and I'm searching for the bark nappers who took Wolf's bark. Don't look at me. I haven't napped all day. No, but she has. But I'm Sleeping Beauty. I'm supposed to be napping. Oh, yeah? Well, a good cop doesn't take any chances. Up against the wall, pig. I beg your pardon? Okay, spread them. The Screen Actors Guild will never let you get away with this, Skeeter. <coughs> What's this? Well, how should I know? A bark! You're under arrest, Piggy. You have the right to remain silent. Ah! I'm getting out of this crazy story. Wow. Hey, uh, wait for me. Uh, uh, uh. This is Sergeant T.J. Skeeter. I'm after the bark nappers. I'll need some backup. Are you the backup? Nope. I'm Sherlock Gunzo. They're the backup. All right, let's go. Piggy, wait for me. Kermit, this is no time to empty the garbage. We've got to make a run for it. Right. Yeah, get up. I'm 